relative molecular mass. Relative atomic mass means the relative mass of atoms, right? Okay, let's say we have uh, we have an oxygen atoms and the relative atomic mass is 16. Eh? Okay, and uh, let's say we have another particle. So it's an oxygen molecule. Eh? So this is oxygen molecules. Two oxygen atoms combined together to form a molecule. Okay, now since one oxygen atoms, eh, the relative atomic mass is 16. Eh? Okay, so if we have two oxygen atoms, the relative mass will be 32, right? Okay, 16 plus 16. Eh? 32 uh, but uh, we can't say for this molecule uh, we can't say uh, its relative atomic mass is 32 why because this is not atom okay this is a molecule uh, it's not atom so we shouldn't use the words relative atomic mass okay uh, because this relative atomic mass is only for atom uh, it's the relative mass of atom uh, uh, so instead we should use the words uh, relative molecular mass uh, because this is molecule right okay so for molecule, we use the uh, phrase relative molecular mass. So we say the relative molecular mass equal to 32. Okay, so by definition, uh, relative molecular mass is the mass of one molecule. Okay, one molecule of an atom or compound compared to what? Compared to one over 12 of the mass of an atom of carbon 12. If you still remember, this is equal to 1 amu. One over 12 of the mass of an atom of carbon 12 is equal to 1 amu. Uh, the relative atomic mass of carbon-12 is taken to be 12. Okay, so that's the difference between relative atomic mass and a relative molecular mass. Relative atomic mass is for atom, uh, is relative mass of atom, and relative molecular mass is for a molecule, uh, is a relative mass of a molecule. Okay, how to find relative molecular mass? The relative molecular mass of a molecule is the sum of the relative atomic mass of each atom in the molecule. Uh, for example, let's say we have a carbon dioxide. Uh, inside, in a carbon dioxide molecule, there is one carbon atom and two oxygen atom. Okay. Now, uh, the relative atomic mass of carbon is 12 and the relative atomic mass of uh, oxygen is 16. Eh? But we have two oxygens, eh? two oxygens. Therefore, in total, in total, uh, the mass, uh, the mass is equal to uh, 44, right? 44, eh? okay. So therefore, we say the relative molecular mass, relative molecular mass uh, of this uh, carbon dioxide is 44. Uh, why? Because the, the relative mass is uh, 44. Okay, this is a relative mass. Uh, okay, and this relative mass is called relative molecular mass because this is a molecule. Okay, this is a molecule. Okay, uh, another examples: methane, one carbon and four hydrogens. Uh, the mass of one carbon is 12, or, or the relative atomic mass of carbon is 12, and the relative atomic mass of hydrogens is uh, one, but we have four hydrogens. Okay, so in total, uh, the relative mass will be uh, 16, 16. 12 plus uh, four times one, because we have four, Hydrogens, okay. Uh, so this relative mass uh, is called the relative molecular mass. Uh, relative molecular mass uh, because it's a uh, molecules, right? Okay. So the relative molecular mass is sixteen. Uh, sixteen. Okay. So from these two examples, we can see that uh, the relative molecular mass is equal to the sum of the relative atomic mass of each atom inside the molecule. Okay. So means the sixteen plus. 12 plus 16. This one is uh, 12 plus 4 times 1. Eh? Okay. Uh, so that's how we find the relative molecular mass. Eh? Okay. We find the sum of the relative atomic mass of uh, every atoms eh, inside the molecule. Example 9. What is the relative molecular mass of aluminum sulfate? Okay. Uh, first of all, we need to know the uh, chemical formula of uh, aluminum sulfate. If you don't know, then you cannot find. Okay, but um, we haven't discussed how to write the chemical formula yet, right? Okay, we are going to discuss that later. So for the time being, I will straight away give you the formulas of aluminum sulfate, and I will teach you how to write the formula later in these chapters. Okay, aluminum sulfate. The formula is Al two SO four. Okay, three. Okay, 
if we put the brackets okay and then put an ions inside and put a three means that we have three sulfate eh? okay yeah three sulfate okay so uh the relative molecular mass okay uh, sometimes we call it relative formula mass so there's a reason for that uh, but um, I'm, I'm not going to discuss it here okay so the relative molecular mass is equal to now in in this formula okay we can see that there are two aluminium right two aluminium eh? so it's two times uh, and the mass of aluminium is 27 two times 27 and then plus uh we have three sulfate eh? in total we have three sulfate so three okay now inside a sulfate we have a sulfur and four oxygens a sulfur the relative atomic mass is 32 so 32 plus uh, four uh, four is uh four oxygens uh, okay so therefore uh, the relative atomic mass of oxygens is 16 uh, four times 16 okay so by using your calculators you should get the answer 342 uh, 342 okay example 10 find the relative molecular mass of carbon dioxide uh the formula for carbon dioxide is co2 uh, okay so therefore the relative molecular mass is equal to we have one carbons so one carbons one times 12 eh? okay 12 and then plus uh, two oxygens eh? two times 16 okay so the answer is 44 okay so that is uh, how we find the relative molecular mass of a molecule eh? okay example 11 given that the formula of a compound is kxo3 and its relative molecular mass is 167 find the relative atomic mass of element x for the relative molecular mass okay uh, we have one potassium 39 one one multiplied by 39 and uh, we have one x but we don't know we don't know its relative atomic mass so just leave it x okay and then we have three oxygens, right? So three times uh, 16, okay, 16, because the relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16, okay? And uh, we learned that this is equal to 167, right? Huh? Because the relative molecular mass is 167. So this is equal to 167, okay? Uh, so this become a linear equation, 39 plus x plus um, 48, equal to 167 and therefore x equal to 167 minus 48 okay because we shift this to another side and minus 39 okay because we shift this to another side okay so therefore x is equal to 80 yeah? 80 okay so that's the answer example 12 the general formula of uh, hydrocarbon is cnh2n and the relative molecular mass of the hydrocarbon is 84 find the values of n okay so the relative molecular mass equal to okay we have n carbons uh, n carbons um i think they should they should, they should give you the relative atomic mass uh, relative atomic mass for uh, carbon is 12 and uh, for hydrogen is one uh, okay so we have n number of carbons uh, so then n multiply by 12 uh, okay 12 is the uh, relative atomic mass of carbons uh, and then we have 2n uh, hydrogens uh, 2n so we 2n multiply by 1 uh, be because the relative atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 um, and then so from the questions we know that the relative molecular mass is equal to 84 uh, okay it's equal to 84 so uh, this is 12n and this is 2n uh, equal to 84 uh, or uh, 14n equal to 84 n equal to 84 divided by 14 which is equal to 6 relative atomic mass and nuclear number the relative atomic mass of an atom is approximately equal to the nuclear number of the atom for example sodium sodium and a uh, sodium has 11 proton 11 po proton and uh, 12 12 neutron 12 neutron okay uh, therefore the nuclear number is equal to 23 okay because nuclear number is the sum of the number of proton and neutron 11 plus 12 uh, become 23 okay so this is the nuclear number of sodium okay and then um, we learned that the relative atomic mass 
uh, is approximately equal to the nu nuclear number. So therefore, the relative atomic mass, uh, AR, of sodium is also equal to 23. Okay? Uh, that's another thing that you need to know. The relative atomic mass is uh, equal or almost the same as the nuclear number. Okay, example 13. Now, this example is not in the note. Okay, so you can find this in the note. So this is uh, an additional question. So example 13, given that an atom X has 17 protons and 18 neutrons, estimate the relative atomic mass. Okay, so uh, the nuclear number Okay, nuclear number equal to uh, 17 plus 18, which is equal to 35. Therefore, the relative atomic mass is also equal to 35 because the relative atomic mass is uh, approximately equal to the uh, nuclear number. Okay.